video for you all. So today in this video we will particularly discuss about A triple E. Many of you might have heard about this term for the very first time but if you are seeing engineering as your career option then this term might prove very useful for you guys. So do watch this video till the end to gather as much as information possible on A triple E. So guys, A triple E stands for Amrita Entrance Examination Engineering. It is a national level entrance exam conducted by Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam, which is a private deemed to be university in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. So this particular exam is conducted for the four years BTEC program which is offered in four of its campuses which are in Amritapuri, Coimbatore, Chennai and Bangalore. So through this exam you can get admission in the BTEC course of this particular university in any of these four campuses. So guys, Amrita Vishya Vidya Peetam is offering 11 undergraduate courses. But here, one thing that you need to note is that not all these 11 courses are available in all the campuses, all these four campuses. They might vary from campus to campus. You can just have a look on that which campus is offering you with which course. So I guess you have gone through it. Now the other thing that you need to know about this exam is that this particular exam is conducted in both online as well as offline manner. That means you have to prepare yourself for the computer based test also and pen and paper test also. Another thing that is important for you to know is that that the CBT will be conducted for five days with three slots on each day and the PPT that is pen and paper test will be conducted only in Tamil Nadu one slot on one day. The pattern of this exam is such that it is having 100 questions and each question carries three marks. Moreover, one marks will be deducted for a wrong answer. That means there is negative marking also. Now coming on the sections or how this paper is divided, then as you can see that you have to cover three subjects for preparing for this particular exam. And these three subjects are physics, chemistry and mathematics. As you can see that physics will have 30 questions and the maximum marks will be 90. Chemistry again 30 questions and maximum marks 90. Mathematics 40 questions with maximum marks 120 making it a total of 100 questions and 300 marks. So this is a really you know mixed kind of a paper you have to focus on all these three spheres or three sections with a equal manner. Now the next very important thing that we need to discuss for this exam is the eligibility criteria. So a candidate who is appearing for the AEEE has to pass their 12 standard from a recognized state board and if they will appear for their 12 standard exams after the entrance exam then they can just submit the required documents before the deadline. Then the other thing that you need to keep in your mind is that you should have scored an aggregate of 60% and other than that, you must have scored 55% in each subject that is of physics, chemistry and maths. So this is for our Indian national students. For the NRI students, criteria is the NRI, PIO and the foreign students are exempted from giving the exam. However, the NRI sponsored candidates, that is the students who are pursuing their higher education from India but 
either of their parent is an NRI need to give the exam. The other thing is that guys that the interested applicants need to register their name, the choice of their branch and campus with the Directorate of Corporate and Industry Relations by filling a student information form and payment of US dollar 300 by a demand draft in the favor of Amrita Vishwa with the Peter. So guys, this was the eligibility criteria for both Indian nationals and the NRI students. The other very important thing is the age limit. The student or the candidate who is appearing for A triple E must be born on or after 1st July 2001. So this is the other important thing that you need to keep in your mind. So guys, I guess that's it for AEEE. Other important thing that I need to just specify over here is that that you can even apply for Amrita Vishya Vidya Peetham through, through your J mains score. There are 25% seats reserved for the students who have uh, just given the J mains exam and have just scored the right score in J mains. Other than that, 3% seats are reserved for SAT students and 2% seats are reserved for the P U double E score card. So that's it for A triple E. I would like to answer one more very important question to you guys that by Amrita Vishya Vidya Peetham only. So guys, I am discussing about Amrita Vishya Vidya Peetham because this particular university was ranked 12th in the NIRF ranking in the overall category and in the engineering category it was ranked 16th. So this is really a very great achievement for a private university in India. Another very interesting fact about Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam is that last year that is 2021 there was 95% placement by Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam and the highest package that was offered to the student of this university was of 56.95 lakhs per annum. Oh my god, this is really a very huge amount. So obviously, you can just keep Amrita Vishya Vidya Peetam as an option for doing your B.Tech because this is really a very good university and it will really offer you with a lot of opportunities as around 200 plus companies approach this university for the placement drive. That's it for this video and if you are having any doubts or any queries you can just ask them in the comment section or you can even contact the test prep card team through the link which is given below in the description box and yes the test prep card team is also there to help and guide the NRI students also if you need any kind of guidance or any kind of help or you are having any queries you can just contact the test prep card team and we are always there to provide you with the right amount of information so till the next time take care stay safe and stay connected with the test prep card team because you really know that we are having a lot of stuff for you guys and yes yes if you're new to this channel then go and subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon and if you like this video then do like it and share it with your other friends also bye